What's going on, YouTube? This is Three's Inferno. So uh, here's big shout outs to Josh Graham, good friend of mine. Um, he finally won his first YCS after I think uh, six or seven tops. Um, so congratulations with that. Now I've I've seen his deck profile um, that uh, Underworld Six 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 Sevens put up, and yes, he does sound a little bit cocky and things like that. But that's just his nature, and I mean, he's he's a really nice guy. He's just really cocky. Um, so I mean, yeah, if someone if you guys say he sounds like it, I mean maybe it's just because that's how he acts. A period. Period. Um, but you st no, you still have to give him props. Uh, he's top like went through 15 rounds or however many rounds of um, you know, and that's a lot, lot to do. You can't just sack your way through all of it. So you still have a lot of skill. We used to play that deck um, at Guadalajara. We wind ups like where it first came out. We played it at uh, Guadalajara, and we've play been playing it since then. So big shout outs to Josh Graham. Now, I've been reading this these deck profile, I mean these um feature matches and let me let me go over some stuff. You know, w one thing I really have to talk about is judges have to be better. We have to have better judges. What I mean by this is they can't miss the simple things that allow something like that can stop like okay, here I'm going to read this to you. Jo in the feature match, the top feature match Jones drew Monster Reborn. He activated special, special summoning Trooper to send Mind Control to Godi and Psychic Command to the Graveyard. He summoned a Commander and tuned it to Trooper, Synchro Summoning Neutrio Barkion, then Special Summon Grand Soul, the Special Summon Psychic Commander. Now he changed Trigodia's level and tuned it to Commander for Neutrio Beast. So what's wrong with this? First, Trigodia is a dark monster. Neutrio Beast requires a tuner plus an Earth monster, non-tuner monster. Okay, that is a big deal. If let's say Josh had a dark hole, he couldn't dark hole it because of the Natura Beast, and then but he he got out of the Natura Beast barking on lock. But honestly, if he lost because of that, that's horrible. Same thing. I mean, there's other things I don't remember off the top of my head right now um, in this event, but other scenarios like uh, I remember when. Um, Oh, in Kansas City. It, that was like last November. But my friend got screwed again in the top four, or top eight. He was playing Dino Rabbit when it first came out, and he lost to Kara Curry's. Top eight. He lost to Kara Curry's because the guy made a Landois with a, like a Thunder King. I'm like, okay, um, it has to be an Earth Monster. So, you know, judge, the judging has to really step up their game. Um, at top level events like this, you can't have just random judges, you know. In, especially this is the finals of the fe like the final feature match. Wouldn't like the head judge be there? But how would even the head judge l allow this to slip past? You know, like th there really isn't any room for that kind of stuff. So I feel like our judges have to be, you know, really better quality if they're going to be judging top tier events like YCS. There's nothing bigger besides you know nationals and worlds. So um, YCS is like basically at the top. So if you can't have like the top judges there, I really feel like you know it really hurts the players and the events. So um, that's really all I was to say on that topic. Um, again, congratulations, Josh, really good friend of mine. Um, I was gonna kick it with him in Toronto if I went, but that plane ticket just got way too expensive. So anyway, um, shout out to Josh. Wind ups one. Um, oh, and one last thing. Um, Psychics. You know, I've been playing with Psychics before. It's funny because the last Toronto YCS. If you check back on my um, archives or my videos, I was planning to take Psychics to YCS Toronto last year, but the thing was, I couldn't find a bot like a big boss monster to summon. Um, I mean, granted, I could might have been able to fit BLS. I don't know if it was live back then. But when I played Psychics at Locals, I put in BLS because I had to have a boss monster, I felt like. Um, here, Jeff Jones, I have to give him credit, makes really good use of, um, Gra oh, sorry, what's his name? Uh, Grand Soil. And he just makes really good use of it. So I really commend him on that and making Psychics, you know, really high, or really good. And letting people see how powerful Psychics is. Alright, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks, guys. Through the Inferno, signing out.